Okay, so we're here once again in Mining Simulator 2 and this might be a little bit of a longer video or it might be a really short video. I'm honestly not too sure. However, what we're going to go over today is things that really need to be added into Halloween Part 3 and I have quite a big long list of things to go over so let's just get straight into it with some of the first ones. Now this first one is definitely some pet enchants. I think really when we first saw this when Isaac like kind of confirmed that we were getting some new enchantments for the whole Halloween event. I think a lot of us were very excited, however it seems like we all kind of overhyped it considering the fact that the, on the only thing we got was this one demon treat here which only adds on our hat. So I think realistically we do need to see some more uh, enchants in the game in terms of the Halloween event. And honestly there's so many different things they can do, again I have made a video on this in the past. But I think really one of the big ones that definitely needs to be added is some sort of candy corn boost. Like an actual, like a, a really big one as well. Again, we do have power three that does work towards the candy corn, but I think we just need like something that specifically boosts the candy corn by a massive, massive amount. Because you know, it's getting a bit difficult now to actually get this candy corn and everything like that. So I think it will really help out a lot of players, especially some of the newer players as well to the event. So yeah, that is definitely one thing that needs to be added. Now this next thing is not something that needs to be added, but I think something more that needs to be addressed. And that is like, you know, the kind of like the broken chances and stuff within the current eggs. So previously I made a video basically kind of going over like how the skull egg chances are completely broken. The skull emoji is like 1 in 5 million, which it should be. However, the skull variants and the ultimate lord are like completely broken and they have some random weird chances that they shouldn't do. And they're basically like 10 times higher than they should be. So I think really it needs to be addressed whether it has been fixed or not, I'm pretty sure a lot of us are still up in the like up in the air, a bit confused about it. So hopefully we can get some more confirmation on that in the future. And of course, if it's not fixed as of yet, then hopefully it can be fixed. And another thing as well, the skull like for some reason is sideways rather than just you know facing on how it should be. So hopefully that gets fixed as well, but a bit of a smaller thing. Now this next one is definitely something that needs to be added in for the simple fact just to make it a lot easier for the next egg. Because of course we will be getting another egg when it comes to part 3 and it will cost a lot of money. So as you can see right now, the zombie egg right here I believe might have actually even gone up in price, I'm not too sure. Or I might just be completely random but 7.5 million as of right now in the game. To be able to AFK this egg, it does take quite a lot of currency and it does take a lot of grinding to get up to. To the point where really, I think most people are just like kind of ignoring this egg and just kind of going for some of the other ones just because they're way easier to grind for. Now there is obviously some people out there who will be grinding for this egg. However, once this next egg gets added in, it could be very, very expensive and it could even get up to like as much as 20 million currency, which is going to be a very, very hard map amount to get up to especially to afk so we definitely need some stronger ores within the game so i 100 percent expect to see some more layers getting added in as well as maybe even two or three more ores within the game we did get the ghostium ore which was added in the last update which does around like 1250 or somewhere kind of around that which is pretty strong but i think honestly we need something that's like around like the 2000 candy corn maybe even 3000 candy corn just to make it a lot easier to grind for these eggs and especially once this new egg comes out we definitely need something a lot stronger so we can actually get to afk it so yeah that's the next thing that should be added now another thing i think this has been on pretty much everyone's predictions and that is some sort of tool on backpack now there's not really any sort of normal shop where you can actually buy these tools and backpacks from unless they do just decide to add it into the event shop again that could work however maybe it could also go into the rebirth store in the normal world which again could be pretty good and just be you know some sort of halloween themed uh, like tools and backpacks could also be pretty good and i know for sure especially for those people who don't have the infinite backpack like i do it's getting a lot harder to actually grind and mine within these mines considering right now the best block is 450,000, which does make it very very difficult to actually grind because you need to constantly like delete the blocks or sell the blocks and stuff so i think a bigger backpack could definitely work within the game and then something kind of you know keeping on with the backpacks maybe we might actually need to see something similar or well you know some new skins and a new crate i say this literally every single video and i know probably people are tired of listening to me say it at this point but we 100 percent need a halloween themed crate we've not had one since season two which is obviously like what 
like nearly two months back at this point maybe even three months back so yeah we definitely need to see a new crate being added in just because we've not seen one for a while it would be nice to have some sort of halloween themed skins within the game as well and you know it will help those who don't have infinite backpack just to get an even stronger backpack so yeah i think a new crate definitely needs to be added in within the next update now this next one as well is something that I also have mentioned before and that is the whole spin to win wheel. It was a great great implement into the game when we saw it in a July 4th event and some other events like kind of you know scattered around and everything. However I think it's perfect for Halloween. We have some really nice Halloween themed pets already so being able to get some uh, more pets from that wheel would be really nice as well as another way to get some boosts because I think right now even though we do have the event shop and everything and we can get boosts from here it would be pretty nice to be able to get another way of getting some more boost as well that would always really help out a lot of players as well as getting gems maybe some candy corn on there as well you know just another way to get candy corn because it is very difficult right now so i think spin to win definitely needs to be added into the game now this next one is not really something that needs to be added in to halloween per se but i think it would be nice to see you know something from minus in one the private mines so basically this was a game pass now i don't really think it should be a game pass within this game maybe more like a gem enchant but basically what it could be is just somewhere in like each individual world you'll have like a little teleporter and then you get to teleport away to your own individual private mine so that way then you don't have to like mine around with people and of course it will be a smaller mine compared to what the bigger mines are just to save on lag and stuff but i think really a private mine can be really really good just so you know you have your own little space to mine in and also you can get to keep your own ores and stuff and then of course if there is anyone like exploiting who are just going around mining all like the ores and stuff without you even being able to get them then i think a private mine could really really help out of course as well you do technically have that with a private server but of course if you can't really afford any robux or anything like that i think a private mine using gem enchants could be a really really fun way to actually bring in another you know another new feature and stuff so i think a private mine could be pretty good now another one as well that needs to be added into the Halloween world and that is the rewards system. So this was of course a BGS system and as well it's been in other games as well. But basically it's similar to the challenges I guess you could say. You just kind of walk up to it and instead of like doing all these challenges to unlock all these rewards. Instead you have to basically like spend your candy corn, click through, sometimes you'll get a reward, sometimes it'll be an empty space. But basically then by the end of it you can get a really really nice pet there might be something else in there like you know like some boosts some other smaller pets and stuff i think again just a really nice way to be able to help out those sort of lower down players who don't have all the game passes and stuff make it just a lot easier for everyone to play the game and i think rewards definitely need to be added in another one as well is the event shop title now this could be in the, in the event shop, it could be in the reward system if it gets added. It could also be added on into the challenges because I think we're getting pretty close now to the end of the challenges as you can see. By the time the update actually rolls out for this last one, um, it should actually be like, you know, you should be able to actually get that last, uh, last challenge there. So they may extend onto the challenges or they may add a reward system. But of course you may also see a title being added into the event shop. We've not had any limited titles for a long, long time. So I think really it's going to be a great way to add in a new limited title. And to be honest, we've not actually had any limited titles whatsoever. We've not had the season three titles added in. The season four titles haven't been added in either. So they also need to be added in. But I think really a Halloween themed title, something just like simple, like spooky or something like that, just to add in, you know, something really nice to get in the game for those people who do have that extra currency. And I think a Halloween title would be perfect to add into the game. And then the last one is a feature that is already confirmed for the game but we are yet to see it and that is the traveling merchant so we've not seen the traveling merchant yet and it has been confirmed for a long long time that this will be added into the game so this may be after halloween has gone that might be the major update following that however i think it would be quite nice to have it in for the halloween part 3 update just so you know there's like maybe something in there like a special pet maybe you could bring back the king slime and add it in there for like the traveling merchant pet shop and of course it will be another way to get some more boosts 
maybe again you could like go in there and you can maybe like buy like times two candy corn boost or something it's just going to be a really fun way and a great new feature to add in at this point in the game because i think right now a lot of people are getting a little bit tired of the halloween stuff because i think the previous update where we only got the zombie egg we did of course get the season five pass but it's not exactly anything really that new and we did get the lantern or wisp again not really anything too crazy so i think really to properly spice up the halloween part three um, update bring in the traveling merchant or bring in the reward system one of those two will definitely bring a lot of players back and help out a lot of players as well but yeah overall that's what i think should be added into halloween part three let me know any ideas you guys have down below in the comment section and yeah that's it from me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video